Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Lena. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long while. I wanted to uh, review all the holiday makeup collections that I purchased, but same story as last year. I got super busy and did not find enough time to do so. So after this video, hopefully I will uh, start showing you uh, some makeup looks that I can create uh, using the holiday makeup collections. But uh, here today in this video, I like to talk about a brand new Chanel makeup collection. So it's uh, different this year. I don't think we have ever seen Levage collection uh, around this time. Uh, of the year because uh, Le Beige collection is uh, usually reserved for the summertime and uh, I'm a long time uh, Chanel consumer so I like to get on with the regular program so it's kind of surprising I would have preferred a Le Blanc collection personally but nonetheless uh, this is a very beautiful collection so we have one eyeshadow palette three different blushes, uh, three rouge cocoa lip balms, and uh, what else? Uh, there are two nail polishes, and uh, I don't know if it, uh, the pot rouge kind of thing is also part of the collection. I saw them in the promo image, but I didn't uh, you know, get them. I don't really like them, so it's okay. And um, there are a couple of re-promoted stuff like Balm Essentiel and uh, Clear Lip Balm but uh, basically uh, this is a winter glow but in the Le Beige, uh, you know, uh, format. So quite interesting. Oh, also there is uh, three different shades, uh, new primers, and I got one of uh, the primers as well. So I want to talk to you about, uh, you know, the collection, how they perform, the color stories, and also do a couple of look demonstrations as well. And you will see the swatches, of course. So that's the video for today. I hope you guys keep watching. And let's talk about the eyeshadow palette first. Uh, this time we have the eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow quint called Cool. So there is warm, there is intense, there is tender and light. So the color schemes in the Le Beige eyeshadows, uh, they're quite simple. And this time it has cool toned pink and mauve purple uh, shades. And uh, um, I only have like one Levage eyeshadow quint, but uh, the performance, the quality is superb and I can find the same quality from this cool eyeshadow quint as well. It's not as uh, pale or muted. It's quite saturated, it's pigmented, and I think it's gonna work for many different skin tones. Uh, and we have three different uh, blushes. We have rose color, coral shade and deeper mauve shade. I got two shades. I got the rose color and the mauve color, but uh, to my surprise, uh, they have uh, both colors have quite a bit of warmth and they're quite saturated and texture and uh, the color payoffs, how they work on the skin. It's a little bit different from what I've experienced. Uh, it's definitely different from the regular uh, Chanel powder blushes, Jus Contrast. And um, it is definitely different from the uh, autumn, uh, you know, fall winter collection, the limited edition uh, blushes. Uh, those are more like softer pressed powder. This feels harder and uh, more like a condensed uh, powderless, if I may and uh, definitely not baked. Uh, it's a little bit different from the baked shadow that I saw from um, the spring collection, but I may be wrong. It kind of feels interesting, but very well pigmented, uh, easy to control, great quality. So if you're like me and kind of like wanted a paler, more muted, purplish, lavender, pink uh, blushes, you're not going to find it from this collection. I think they're all quite saturated, uh, very minimal white uh, base, and uh, they're pigmented, and they have good amount of red undertones, and they will all show up beautifully on 
uh, various skin tones and uh, if you're very pale I also think you don't have to worry about it because a color intensity is very easy to control and uh, there are three uh, lip balms and I only picked up one because uh, Rouge Coco Balm is not my favorite uh, lipstick formulation from Chanel so this time I picked up uh, the shade Keep Cool and it's like a shimmery light uh, you know mauvey brownish pink uh, the shade I'm wearing right now and it's quite interesting beautiful color I like this lip balm a lot I also picked up a primer uh, so Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Primer in the shade Frosty White uh, so there were three different shades offered uh, this is the lightest shade and I was a little bit worried uh, because of the name Frosty White but uh, it's really subtle. Uh, I expected to see some sparkles or very strong beaming glow or something, but it's very subtle. It's a uh, white color, but then it has very beautiful, soft, opalescent glow to it. And the base itself, formula itself, reminds me of my other uh, Chanel primer. I really like this. This is the Lavaz Illuminatrice, and this has a light pink shade, but it doesn't really add any uh, you know color but it really is hydrating and plumping uh, it prepares the skin uh, best for the next step and this Le Beige one is quite similar in terms of how it feels on the skin so I am really happy with this new primer and I picked up one nail polish called Glacial or Glacial and uh, from the name I suspected it might be a shimmery white nail polish but it's not. It's a very soft cool toned white polish with a semi sheer uh, finish. I really love it. It looks really beautiful on and uh, if you remember the Silk shade from the holiday makeup collection that one has more like a warmer undertones this is the same finish kind of same formula but has very neutral leaning cool uh, undertones so they're like sisters i think i prefer this one although silk is also a very beautiful shade so overall very satisfying purchase i think it's a beautiful collection although it was a little bit different from my expectation and uh the color story makes sense it's a very cohesive and everything kind of works very well together so i think it's a great collection to check out uh, it's not available online just yet but the u.s uh, chanel boutiques just started receiving uh, this collection so do inquire your local boutique and uh, of course i will uh, update the info as soon as uh, this collection becomes available online so that's my overview on this new Chanel Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow collection and now I'd like to do some makeup demos. I'd like to show you two different makeup looks that I created using this new collection. Normally I would skip to the eye makeup part to save some time but since there is a new primer in this collection, let me show you how I apply this. I guess it's just for the sake of uh, showing the process because it's not the kind of primer that has meaningful coverage or you know alter the color uh, but it's more like adding a very subtle glow and refining and hydrating the complexion so the uh, next step uh, goes a little bit better. I really like this. I have used this a couple of times feels really hydrating and it doesn't ball up or pile up you know reacting with different foundations or anything like that so let me just show you so it comes in a tube like this and uh, there is a very subtle opalescent uh, glow to it it feels amazing on the skin so I don't know how much of a change um, you can see on the other side of the screen, but it just adds really subtle glow and uh, refines the texture of my skin.
And this is how my complexion looks right after the primer is freshly applied and I think I'm gonna skip the actual base makeup uh, routine because I always kind of uh, do the same, nothing special. I just apply the foundation, set my uh, complexion with loose powder. So I'll do that and probably do my brows as well and I'll be right back. I am back. I will include all the product information in the description box and because I used a matte foundation and set it with matte powder, you probably won't see that pretty subtle glow that I got from the primer. But uh, from my experience, uh, you know, uh, using that primer a couple times, that glow will impart a little bit later on. And uh, most importantly, my skin feels uh, so much more comfortable and uh, it really does help with the foundation finish. So I am very, very happy with the primer. I'm going to find out if this is uh, a limited edition. If it is, I'm gonna get a backup. So. And now let's get into the eye makeup. So I have this eyeshadow quint uh, with five eyeshadow colors called Cool. So this one is definitely cooler, pinker, and has more purple undertones compared to the tender eyeshadow quint from the same line, La Beige line. And uh, it is definitely pinker and cooler, but it also has a good amount of red undertones in my opinion. So it's not as cool as I hoped it to be, but still cooler than uh, other shades in the same line. So the quality is there. I only have one Le Beige eyeshadow quint, but that one is super creamy pigmented. I was very impressed with the quality and performance and same quality and performance I can find uh, from this eyeshadow quint as well. Although this is a pink palette, I think uh, it is very inclusive. It's pigmented and it's flattering for uh, different skin tones. I think it's going to show up on uh, a lot of uh, different skin tones as well. So let me show you how this palette works on my skin tone. So the top shade, it's like base. So I'm going to just get the shade and apply this all over my lids. It's pretty pigmented, but quite close to my own skin tone so it doesn't really show up as much. Now using the new Wayne Goss eyeshadow brush, uh, this is E4, the very best uh, lay down eyeshadow brush that I ever owned. I have two of these, I'm very happy about them. So uh, let's go into this deeper uh, pink shade here. I'm just gonna pack it in the center of my lids, you can see how pigmented this shade. It's almost like magenta. It has a beautiful sheen to it as well. I am leaving the outer corner and inner corners intentionally because I want to pack the darkest shade on those areas. So soft, amazing. But you can tell this has a lot of red undertone. Next, I'm going to apply this purpley shade on the outer corners first. But this one is Lena True Brush, also very, very nice. I think I like these brushes better than Sonia G's, some of the Sonia G's. So I'm applying the same shade on the inner corners as well. I mean, I started with darker shades, so it's more intense, but you can tell this is not one of those uh, spring pastels. Uh, it has some, you know, body to it. And using fluffy blending brush, I'm going to use this medium soft pink shade and blend the whole thing out.
I'm using Wayne Goss E5 brush going back to the darkest shade. I'm going to add a little bit more depth. Now let me clean up the little bit of fallouts here and add a little bit of eyeliner and I'll be right back. I am back. I used the Chanel waterproof eyeliner in the shade Cassis that has a very beautiful dark plum shade. So I think that goes really beautifully with this whole eye look. So, And adding eyeliner and mascara that always changes uh, the look. So I'm going to uh, add uh, something more, blend out a little bit more. Going back to this dark pinky shade and add this along my lower lash line, blending with the eyeliner. And I want to add this light pink shade a little bit more around the crease. And there is a very special shade right over here. This is the coolest, lightest pink shade and it has gorgeous blue shimmer to it. This kind of salvaged the palette for me to be honest with you. Just gonna add this color around the inner corners. Now I think I just need to apply some mascara. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Now let's apply some blushes. I purchased two shades from this collection, the rose color and the mauve color as well. And they both are quite pigmented and has a bit of warmth to the colors. So especially the mauve color, I don't really see much mauve undertone from this shade. Anyway, both are very beautiful shade, but uh, having both, although mauve color is more saturated, I think I could have just gotten one shade, not two. So I uh, want to show you two different looks. Uh, it's very easy to uh, switch up. So I'm going to start with the rose shade and pair some rosy uh, lip gloss and uh, mauve blush with the lip balm that I purchased from this collection. So blush is very pigmented, but it's also quite hard pressed. I'm not entirely sure if it's baked formula, but uh, it feels definitely harder compared to uh, the fall limited edition blush. That one is more like soft powder formulation, but uh, it's also different from the baked formulation that I've seen from the spring collection. So if you use this brush, it gives very soft finish. And now let me use the Wayne Goss F1 brush. This is angled cheek brush. I love this brush. I also got another one of these. And uh, let me show you how this blush will apply using this. So it's quite hard pressed. I don't know if it's because they wanted to put the embossment and then press the surface really hard or uh, the formula itself is quite hard, but I think it's a hybrid of like baked and powder blush, if that makes sense. The glow that I get from this blush is really gorgeous. I don't really uh, feel that I need to use additional highlighter because glow is already there. And with this blush, I'm going to just add a Chanel lip gloss. This is a Tondress shade. It's a pink shade with slight red undertone. Perfect with this blush. So 
So this is the look number one. Uh, let me remove this and show you a different blush lip combo. Now let me apply the mauve shade. As you see, this is much more pigmented shade. I think I prefer this color over the rose shade. But the rose color is easier to wear, I think. But because I'm gonna wear a very light lip color, I think I'm gonna apply some more blush. Let's get some winter glow. For this look, I'm going to apply the new Rouge Coco Balm shade Keep Cool. So when I opened this lip balm, I thought to myself, wow, that's too pale, too shimmery, that's too 90. But there is something about this. It's very uh, pretty and kind of unique and interesting shade. So I'm going to line my lips uh, using this Chanel lip liner. I think it's beige natural. And this is the look number two. Uh, let me know which one you prefer. I uh, personally like the second look a little bit better because I prefer the mauve blush and the lip color. Uh, I surprisingly really like the lip color. I didn't know what to think about it in the beginning, but it's a very uh, unique wearable color. Uh, it's unique in my collection and kind of makes the whole look a little bit more interesting. So I really enjoy that. Uh, when it comes to uh, the whole collection, I think it's an interesting move from Chanel because around this time of year, we usually get Loup Blanc collection with a lot of like light, delicate shades. I personally would have preferred to have another Loup Blanc collection, but since we're looking at very pastel uh, spring collection from Chanel, so I guess this kind of balances things out. And uh, if you like to uh, wear pink shades, but uh, you want something without uh, white undertones, I think you're going to really enjoy this collection. Overall, uh, great colors, uh, great performance. Uh, if it becomes available in your area or boutique or online, I would uh, recommend checking this collection out. So. That wraps up my review on this new Chanel Le Beige Winter Glow collection. Let me know what you think about this collection. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.